Okay, let's memorize our normal lab values, okay? Um, so first, I have the fishbone for BMP, basal metabolic protein, also called a CHEM7. In order to remember these, I have the images which would best rep represent them for you visual learners. On the top left is salt, also represented for sodium. So the normal sodium is 135 to 145. Below that is potassium, represented by the banana. That's 3.5 to 5. To the top right is chloride, represented by the picture of a man dumping chlorine into the pool. That's an easy one, it's just 100 to 110. Below that is CO2, or bicarb, and the normal value is 20 to 30. To the top right is BUN, which a normal value is 8 to 20. And below that, if you're familiar with uh, gym bros and uh, creatine supplements they use when they work out, this is representative of creatinine, and the normal is just 1 point, uh, 0 0.5 to 1. And then on the far right, of course, is glucose, and the normal is 70 to 100. Now, moving on to your CBC, or complete blood count, um, on the top is a red blood cell, which is meant to represent hemoglobin. Now, uh, if you're a man, I recommend you me memorize the man's uh, normal, and if you're a woman, rep rem remember the women's normal, um, and just remember that men are two above, women are two below, okay? So men normal is 14 to 17 hemoglobin, women is 12 to 15, two below, okay? Below that is hematocrit, and to represent hematocrit, I just could think of the vial filled with cells separated from the plasma. Um, and the normal for men is 40 to 50, which is a pretty easy number to remember. And then just remember that women are five less than that, okay? And then on the far left, we have a, a microscopy image of a white blood cell. And the normal value is 4,500 to 11,000, okay? So 4,500 to 11, sometimes it's just uh, marked as 4.5 to 11, but realize that that's in thousands on the lab values, okay? On the far right is a huge stack of plates representing platelets, and the normal is 150,000 to 450,000. That's a big number represented by a big stack of plates, okay? Finally, let's go to your coagulation, coagulation panel. That's PT, PTT, and INR. Now, in order to represent PT, I have a PT Cruiser, if you remember this really ugly car from back in the day. And to remember that, you have one PT Cruiser is odd and unlucky, okay? Because it's an odd, ugly car, and the normal value is 13, which is unlucky. So one PT has the lower values of the two, 11 to 13, versus P PTT, which has the extra T, it has the higher number, 25 to 35. Okay, so on the left is PT, normal is 11 to 13. On the right is two PT cruisers, representing PTT, the normal is 25 to 35. In order to remember that, you have uh, the phrase, two PT cruisers have never been purchased by a young family 25 to 35 years old, okay? Can you imagine a young family in their 20s and 30s buying two ugly PT cruisers? No, never, horrible. Below that is INR, International Normalized Ratio, and that's represented by the globe with all the flags. The normal is just one, that's super easy, but if they're anticoagulated on Coumadin or Warfarin or something, the normal range is two to three, okay? So, um, and I need to sum this up by saying that all these values are based on up-to-date. However, I have um, rounded them to the nearest five in order for your memory to be able to more quickly grasp them. However, um, across all sources, these normal, quote unquote, lab ranges vary, uh, vary by a few points, okay? So from each institution you go to, there's no agreement. So if you just memorize the nearest five, the rounded number that I have here, and recall that uh, the values vary by a few points, um, one to two up, one to two down, okay, you're gonna be generally in the range of being right most of the time, and usually when they give you a question about um, is this lab value normal, it's like way up or way down, okay? It's obvious. If it's just at the tip of your normal range that you memorize, you can say, oh, well, it's high normal or it's high low or um, uh, low average or something like that. Just use vague terms. 
and you're going to get it right, okay? Just just no, memorize these rounded numbers, um, and you're going to be good, okay? So I hope this was a good uh, memory hook for you visual learners. Take screenshots of these, um, and I hope it really helps.